Hey, hi. Hi, bud. Hey, how you doing? Hi, everybody. How's it going? Welcome to Generations. Yeah, we're back again. We, we, we tend to take these long breaks, which uh, I have to take full responsibility for. Uh, we have to, you know, this is exhausting work. A oh, good point. Good point. Uh, I mean, all the production time that goes in, you know, it's like, uh, you know, takes a long time in between shoots. That's right. Um, so I'm up first today. We usually do a few of these per, uh, per session. And I've got one for you today. It's a band that I, I can pretty much guarantee you've never heard of unless you heard me mention them, which means you've never heard the song. Um, but I've got a good feeling. I, I, the other day I was thinking about this and I'm like, you know, our initial mission with this whole thing was for me to try to figure out what your deal is with music. Like what, what you like, what you don't like, what, why, like, what's the, what's the thing. And I kind of came to the conclusion the other day that I'm probably never going to be able to articulate it, but I think I'm getting to the point of where I know it. I can hear a song and I go like, I bet dad would like that. You can or, feel it. Yeah. Now I'm not always right because you still come up with some random stuff that I'm like, okay. Like I have no idea how or why you, you pick certain things, but in general, I think I'm pretty good. So this is one that I think I'm like, I think you're going to like this one. Um, it's got a little bit of the flavor of a, uh, remember when we did the nightmare on wax? Uh, uh, how about funky fusion jazz pop? Yeah. It, it, it's got a little bit of that kind of flavor. Um, so anyway, the name of the band is Fat Freddy's Drop. Fat Freddy Drop. Fat, <laughs> Fat Freddy's Drop. <laughs> you got to look it up. Fat, Fat Freddy's Drop. <laughs> yeah. But I, tell, I always look forward to what kind of surprise you're going to have for me. Fat Freddy's Drop. I, um... I was introduced to this band, gosh, a while back now, uh, after a, um, uh, we'll, we'll call it a, a shamanic ceremony, and uh, was returning home and was uh, riding with some random people back to where my car was, and this music was on, and I was like, what is this? I like this. Was Fat Freddy's Drop, and I was like, okay, all right. Now, I've been told, I don't know if this is true or not. This is one of those things that somebody watching this can help answer. I was told that the name has something to do with LSD. Hmm. So Fat Freddy's drop, like dropping, dropping drop acid. Drop acid. Right. So Fat Freddy could. I have no have idea what that. Obvious meaning. Whoa, were you there that night? Fat Freddy dropped acid. <laughs> <laughs> I was not there. Uh, so this song is called This Room. This Room, Fat Freddy Drop. Fat, fat. That guy. Yeah, say it 10 times fast. Yeah. <laughs> fat Freddy's Drop. Okay, you ready? All right, turn up your volume. Here we go. <laughs> this Room. All right.
That it? That's it. Not bad. I like it. Yeah, it's different. You know, got a little bit of a reggae kind of a feel and, uh, you know, some funkiness to it. Got some horns in it. That's always uh, a nice feature. They even snuck a flute in there. Did you hear that flute? Um, no. <laughs> So it didn't jump out at me. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. It was subtle, but uh, but they did sneak a flute in there. But uh, yeah, the horns are a, a nice touch. Yeah, it's got a nice feel to it. Yeah, it's it's kind of like positive, kind of, you know, kind of an upbeat kind of a vibe, you know. But it's like mellow, too, at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, I've got several Fat Freddy songs on my Mellow Jams playlist. Huh. I take it they've got an album or albums out there. They do? Hmm. Actually, now that you say that, I should probably listen to, because, you know, now with digital music, it's like, you know, whatever, this song popped up somewhere. I was like, oh, I like that. 
And then, you know, the, the algorithm says, oh, you like that song here? Let me show you another Fat Freddy song. Oh, let me show you this other band that's similar or whatever. But I don't know that I've ever listened to an entire one of their albums before. And sometimes that's where the good stuff is. We just don't do that anymore. When, yeah, but now, back when you had to buy the album, yeah, you got to listen to the whole thing. But like you say, since digital, you can just listen to the selected ones and tend to ignore or forget or miss the rest of them. I mean, in some of those B-sides, the, that's the good stuff. You know, it's frequently the case that uh, back when we you had the whole CD or album or cassette or whatever, you know, the songs that I liked the best weren't the ones that got on the radio. Right, right. You know. The, the the song that sells the album, the, the one that they're playing on the radio that's the big number one hit, that might not be your favorite. Your favorite might be number six. For sure. And and even, even whole albums, you know, like bands that I kind of got into at various points, right? Where really, you know, getting into a band, so Led Zeppelin, Rush, Van Halen, right? Where like there were times in my life where it was like fixated on those bands. And so I'd buy everything they had, right? Even if I never heard anything on the radio, if they had an album, I bought it. And it was funny because very often the stuff that got the least airplay, the albums that got the least attention were my favorites. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I know that I've had that same experience with uh, with a lot of them. All right. So what's your um, what's your take? What's your take? Fat Freddy's drop. You said it was decent. It was okay. Um, well, if I had a gong, it, it would not have been gonged. Okay. Well, that's that's a, <laughs> that's a start. That's a start. Um, I'm not sure if that'll go in my library or not. I, I will probably put it in the library just so that I can hear it again and see if it really latches on. But first impression is, is good. I liked it. Uh, give it a six and a half, six and three quarters, maybe. I'll take, uh, I'll take that. 6.67. There you go. That's, that's two thirds, right? Yep. Um, so yes, I would recommend uh, putting it on your playlist or just listening to it a couple more times or maybe checking out some of their other stuff. Yeah. Because um, some of their other songs, you know, it's like every band, right? Like, you know, different songs have a little bit of a different vibe. Yeah, yeah. Um, so fat, is that with an F or a PH? It's with an F. Okay. <laughs> Good question though. And nowadays. Yeah. You know, you, you, you don't know. I mean, I think they've been around for a while. Um, they're one of those bands that I would like to see in concert. I bet they would be fun. Um, you know, you can imagine with the horns and the stuff and, you know, I, I, I can picture sort of, you know, eight guys crammed onto a little stage somewhere, you know, and uh, doing their thing. So, oh, not to get totally sidetracked, but I mean, it is generations. I mean, that's right. I was going to say, thank God we're finally getting sidetracked on something. I know. I mean, what's a generations episode if we don't get sidetracked? Yeah. So I've, you know, I've kind of mentally had a list of bands that you know, kind of like your bucket list bands, right? Like, like, man, I really want to, I would love to see this band. And I've missed my opportunity with several of them, right? Because they, the band members have died, they broke up, they don't tour anymore, whatever. And um, one of my bucket list bands is coming to Portland and I got tickets. All right. Floor tickets, no less. Wow. I, it, 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 being older and... Having a nice job and everything has its advantages, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I'm going to see the Scorpions. Oh. 
I've heard of them. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll have to play you a Scorpion song one of these days. But I mean, now the, the tricky part is that I really like the old Scorpions. So it goes back to our conversation. So like their early, early stuff, like from the seventies, you know, and, you know, eighties. Right. But they like, they, I mean, I bet they've got 20 albums, you know, we were around that long. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, they kind of started making a name for themselves kind of in the late eighties. Okay. So, you know, like rock you like a hurricane, you know. Oh, I know that song. Yeah. So that was kind of when they were kind of in the more pop, but they had other stuff. Too. I, I, I mean, I bet I could play six songs that you'd know of theirs that you've heard on, you know, Casey or whatever, you know. But I'll be darn. Yeah. They're German. Huh. Yeah. Well, good for them. Yeah, good for them. Oh, yeah. What does that have to do with anything? Nothing. It's just uh, it's just a nice factoid. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Well, congratulations. Thank you. So, when is it? October 9th. So it's coming up soon. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. So at least there'll be one of the bands that I really want to see I can mark off my list. They've been on yeah. the list. They've been on the list for 25 years probably so wow. you know it's about time it's about time okay any final thoughts about pat freddie um uh, nope i will uh listen to that more and check out some of their other stuff and see where it goes and thank you for showing it to me or and, and, playing it for me and somebody needs to let us know about the lsd story yeah yeah <laughs> Fat Freddy, Fat Freddy drop. Fat Freddy's drop. There's an apostrophe S. Ah. Fat Freddy's drop. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I really do want to hear you to, to say that 10 times fast. No can do. <laughs> How about two times moderately? Fat Freddy's drop, Fat Freddy's drop. All right, good enough. <laughs> All right. That's it. Bye, everybody. Thanks to our editor, Vess, for uh, all that he does. And uh, push all those buttons and you know what to do. And we'll see you again next time. Peace out. <laughs>